my channel, my friends. Okay, <laughs> 24 hours, 24 hours. What do you picture? You can do a lot in 24 hours. What if I said, we're just gonna run? Now that would be a pretty ridiculous challenge, right? I mean, that would literally be more than double a full Ironman and then some, which itself is a ridiculous challenge. And that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. <laughs> it's the most difficult physical goal I've ever set myself. Now I have a full support crew tracking me, I've got medical support vehicles monitoring how I'm doing and I've spent the last few weeks speaking to incredible ultra runners, one of them being Courtney DeWalter. She's pretty much the greatest ultra runner of all time. She eats 24 hour runs for breakfast, she wins 240 mile races, ahead of the men, by the way. And how long did it take you to run 238 miles? It took just under 58 hours. That is so crazy. <laughs> and I guess I'm just saying all of this just to say, please don't copy this at home. There's a lot of support going on behind the scenes to keep me safe. And you guys might be thinking, what's the point? Why are you even doing this? Well, a little while ago, Wings for Life reached out to me to tell me about their World Run, which funds world-leading research into spinal cord injuries. Two years ago, from falling down some stairs, I had my own spinal injury, so I knew straight away that I wanted to take part in the World Run on the 8th of May. It's the most inclusive run in the world, all ages, all levels, wheelchair users, runners, walkers, everywhere in the world. You're all welcome. All you need to do is download the Wings for Life World Run app, and 100% of your sign up fee goes towards research into spinal cord injuries. They've helped so many people suffering with life changing injuries and that's my motivation to run. And even if you're not a runner, even if this just isn't your thing, you don't need little imaginary boxes drawn around you telling you what you are or what you aren't. Like I'm not a 24 hour runner, yet. And this is me testing those little imaginary boxes and encouraging you to do the same thing. So the link is in my description box. Go check it out. I'm going to eat some carbs, relax, go to sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. It's 6.52 on Sunday morning. My goal is to keep running for 24 hours until 6.52 on Monday morning, you know? just in time for work. The goal is to just keep moving and to keep going as far as my body and my mind will take me. If that means I've got to walk, if that means I've got to crawl, so be it. Are you good? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. All right, guys. I mean, I'm literally gonna be speaking to you the whole time, but peace out. I literally, just went for a pee, and I need another one. There's the sun. You can just see it now. Yeah. So we're in the desert outside Las Vegas right now. So the goal is to get outside the desert and into Las Vegas before the sun goes down. I just don't really want to be in the desert on my own at night. You know, it kind of scares me. Okay. The layers are starting to come off as it's starting to get warmer. I think aerobically, I'll be fine the whole way. The real test will be muscular endurance as well on the joints and also the feet. So, so yeah, that's the real test. Hey. I'm just seeing it hour to hour. That's how I'm doing it's it. It's just 24 one hour runs. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep my headphones out until I feel like I need them. I don't wanna use all my cards too soon. If I get used to the headphones, then I've got nothing else to go to. Time for my first gel. <laughs> my God, this takes me back to my Iron Man days. <laughs> so hard. I had so many of these gels. Echo. <laughs> I mean, just look at this scenery. Is that not freaking epic? We're doing great. Feels like the theme was yellow highlighter. I just wanted to be extra visible today. You know, in case there are any like snakes 
more coyotes around. I need them to see me before I see them because I'm going to freak out. Mario's the actual cutest. He's going back and forth between the main crew and me. And you look so cute. Look at you. We're matching, look. I can't reach you. <laughs> so this is my concoction of the good stuff. We've got maple syrup, lime salt. I mean, that flavor, can you go wrong? No, I've relied on it for years when I do ultra distance training. I am, that's a good drink. Every time I have it, I'm like, why am I not drinking this every day? I feel like I need some solid food, so I'm dipping into the rice cakes. Eight is 24, 20 times eight, 160 kilometers, basically 100 miles in 24 hours. I'd be lying if I said that wasn't my goal. I just find that really motivating just for myself. I'm feeling quite good. Three hours down, 21 to go. I got my support guys behind me. And now I've just gone toilet. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna stop, but I really need to stretch my glutes out. It's weird. But I feel like you guys are really helping me. I know you guys are gonna be seeing this in the future, but I feel like you guys are still keeping me company, you know? Transcending time. Oh my god, I'm going, I'm going delirious. Doesn't this just look like a postcard? Wish you were her. Things are starting to hurt now. And I think that's just, that's just gonna be how it is from now on. Honestly, like, it's not an option for me to give up. So, if I have to crawl, then I will crawl. The Vegas strip right there, and mountains in the distance with snow on them. Okay, I'm gonna take a five minute walk break. Did you give me some baby food? I did, one sec. This is Natasha's favorite. <laughs> yes, it is baby food. But I'm eating it like a gangster, you know? Are you doing? That green right there, that's the good stuff. The grass. Ooh, ooh, is she jogging again? It's lunchtime now, so I've made my hand cheese and tomato sandwich. It's right here. I just need the food to be easily digestible. It looks like a strut, a real strut you've got going on. It's getting really hot now. So much better. What did you say? Did you say something? <laughs> no, I am just imagining. I'm trying not to think too far ahead. If I think too far ahead, I'm gonna get overwhelmed. One of the amazing things, speaking to Courtney, she was telling me how it's incredible what you can make your body do by harnessing the power of your mind. And she uses that for great things, right? So she feels, she might be feeling pain and she can keep pushing. And I was saying to her, one of the things I noticed is that I feel pain in my back from a lack of confidence, even though I know that my back is fine, like there's no injury there anymore, but I'm still mentally feeling that pain. I'm just gonna keep harnessing the power of the mind, like Courtney said. Wow. We're coming up to a marathon. It's quite a slow marathon, but I've got to do four of these. Four. I'm a quarter of the way through. It's quite a good feeling. What do you need? I need new knees. It's actually getting really hot as well, so I need to make sure I don't dehydrate. Wow, this place is beautiful. I know. I think I have become delirious. I thought that was a snake. <laughs> oh, she's got the glasses on. I got my glasses on. I've had some maple syrup, a little salty snack. All right, we can do this. I'm not even gonna look at my watch. 
I might even take it off. I'm feeling good. I feel really positive. I'm just going to ride this feel good wave. We can do this. We can do this. There's literally no one else around. And I've always wanted to do this. I don't know if you can see them, but I have a couple of support vehicles up ahead. Just the fact that you've got a little bit of support, you can just see in the distance now and then, it's just nice. What have you come here for? Um, a kiss. <laughs> you loser. A happy kiss. Alright, bye. bye. So I'm really happy with my pace. I'm just taking a little walking break now just to slow it down temporarily because I want to make sure that I don't crash on the late last eight hours because it's only been eight hours so I've got two more of these. Come on, Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. I'll be honest, all I'm seeing is a really wet bag yeah, and no water in... <laughs> no, it's fine. It's so hot. How hot is it? I won't. It says 23 degrees. Do I believe it? No. It's a hot 23. It's a hot 23. Great work. Yeah. Bye. I'm actually feeling really good. I don't feel any worse than four hours ago. So that's a good thing, right? This is my fourth sandwich because it's getting late in the day. Look like how soggy it's become. <laughs> Maybe tomato is a bad idea. I was actually thinking, I did a marathon. And I didn't really think much of it because I've got a lot more to do, you know? So maybe to make me feel like 24 hours wasn't really that much of a big deal. I should have done like a 72 hour run. Ooh. Ah, it's starting to hurt. It's looking juicy. I have already put sun cream on, by the way, guys. This one hurt? Yeah, they both hurt. Where are you not feeling pain right now? Let's, let's do it that way. <laughs> My <laughs> boobs feel absolutely great. You still haven't listened to any music, which means the only person speaking to you is you, which is why <laughs> no. you've lost the plot, <laughs> which is never a good thing. I've been talking to these guys. All right, okay, it's, I know it's been a one-way conversation, and I'm sorry, I would ask more questions, but <laughs> someone's got to do it talking. Nine and a half hours in. I'm gonna treat myself to some music. Ah, my feet shuffling against the floor. I'm like, who's there? And it's just, it's just me. Or it's my shadow. It's just over there. So we've been running, or I've been running for just over nine hours now, which is the longest I've ever been running for. You guys cannot say that I don't test the sponsors out on this channel, okay? Because this video is sponsored by Lululemon. They've just released their first ever running shoes, the Blissville running shoes. And that's what I'm running in for these 24 hours. If you guys know Lululemon, you've bought Lululemon stuff, you know that the quality and longevity of their active wear is as good as it gets. It's chef's kiss. And I don't give out a chef's kiss lightly. For decades, Sports shoes have been designed off men's feet and then scaled down for women's, but here they were just like, mm, nah. We're gonna scan 1.2 million women's feet and make a shoe for women. And that's a lot of foot, you guys. They're incredible running shoes, so go check them out. The link's in my description. And I just wanna say again, thank you to Lululemon for helping support Wings for Life and for supporting this video and helping me make it happen how I envisioned it. And this is the point turning back and now straight to Vegas enough running around the desert I also need to get there before it gets dark you're somewhere between a run and a hobble does it look good though uh, okay I'm gonna walk a little bit how are the knees they've been better you know but I feel like forget the knees okay it's all it's all hit in here Look, look at the cheese that she likes. It's always this cheese. <laughs> hey, okay. If I like to make my sandwiches like burgers, 
so be it. Oh my god, that's literally so wet. See you later. Okay, it's weird, like, I'm just not really feeling the music. I feel like there's a lot of stuff to concentrate on. I'm really kind of in like a good state of mind though, you know? So I've done 12 hours, which is halfway through, but also the longest I've ever run for and 88 kilometers, which is the furthest I've ever run. Which is actually kind of nuts. And I've got Vegas ahead of me and I'm just kind of on a high. Like I'm feeling really good right now. Oh, oh, I lost two marathons. This downhill is looking hard for you, Bubs. Downhill is harder than uphill on the old jaunts. We've got a long downhill to go. Yay! Street bikes! Ah, I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk because that was too much downhill. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk until I feel good again. It's not like you're giving up. You're doing great. Let's see I that said, smile. I said I was gonna run. It's okay. Got too motivated by Courtney that I was like, <laughs> yeah, man, I can do this too. <laughs> and I realized that she's like literally on another level. Just on another, another planet. On another She's planet. on another level on a different planet. <laughs> Chloe, it's like I'm going through all the emotions. Super determined, super happy, super excited. Then I'm in pain, then there's determination, then there's stubbornness. Then that starts to break down and then I get sad. And then I get angry for being upset with myself. <laughs> and then I come back full circle and I'm like, okay, the only way you're gonna get through this is through positivity. You're looking good. I've been walking for like 45 minutes. I just need to manage my muscles not getting too cold. We're moving again. Hello. Hey. Oh, it's <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna have a hug. I'm gonna have a hug. Are you in pain? I think Come I'm in. getting a bit tired, but this is why I'm crying. It's okay, it's okay. At least you know you're in. Las Vegas, we got the neon lights. <laughs> I know, I know, it's so funny. <laughs> We're definitely here. I mean, it's like crying when I saw you, so. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's all about good to see you. The guys are over there with the, if you, what do you want? Do you want food? Yeah. I need a second to just, <sighs> I'm tired. So I've got a double espresso gel. It's gonna keep you going there. It'll keep me going. It's actually not that bad. It's, it's also gonna give bad. you the poops. Oh, she's perking up. Boing. Look at this new outfit. We've had an outfit change. We've had a cry. You chose this because it's hard. Yeah. That's I why know. you wanted it. I know. You picked something that was gonna whoop your ass and I it's picked... doing that, but <laughs> you're fighting that. back. We gotta put up a fight, you know? Okay, so it's basically 11 now, and um, I'm just gonna, just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for it. Looking good. Looking good. I'm not doing too badly. That pit stop was... Bueno. So Mario said he would join me on any section of the run that I that I asked and I asked for the Las Vegas strip so <laughs> he's just coming around now the rest of the team are at the end and I don't know what, what is the rest of the time 27 past midnight you know just a cool calm midnight run you ready mm -hmm. how fast are we going this fast <laughs> I can do that just about. Now I'm ready. Ready, set, go. No. No. That doesn't count. 
So, what are we doing? <laughs> We're gonna run through the hotel. Yeah. Okay. This is the trippiest thing. It's the trippiest thing. This is exactly what I need to just not know what time it is. Looks like it's middle of the day. In Venice. In Venice. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot that part. Oh, what? If you've flipped through the video and then <laughs> you started in a desert and then you're here, you must be like, wait. She ran to Venice. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so lost. I'm just trying to get out and I'm just running through the casino. I feel like I need to switch to like two minutes of walking, two minutes of running. I need to switch. I need to do something. Oh, Jesus, you guys. Just think about right now. Just think about this hour. Right now. You need a break? No, I can keep going. I need to sit down. This is genuinely the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. No, but for real, this is mad. It's absolutely mad. I think the thing that's hardest for me is that it's so psychological. It's such a long amount of time to try and stay focused and stay motivated. And then secondly, like it's just such an emotional roller coaster. And 20 minutes ago, I was feeling fine. I felt like I had my body back and it was working with me. Now I just feel like I'm going back into like a low phase where everything hurts again. one straight road from the center of the city right to the outskirts which is perfect for what I need when I'm like half asleep and my brain's shutting down. I think when I see the sunrise I might cry. I just want to, I want to do myself proud. I want to do Wings for Life proud. I want to do everyone proud. Speed limit 35, I'm definitely not doing that. I need to do this. Ah. Oh. She rises. I've done 130 kilometers. Pretty good. <laughs> it's not bad. And it's the furthest I've ever run. I don't know if I said that before. Now you tell us. Bye. Peace out. Go, Baba. You're getting there, you're getting there. I'm 30 minutes. Say it and smile. I'm smiling because I can see the sunrise. Just there. I feel like the night has just been forever. Six twenty-five, just in time for work. <laughs> On day morning. <laughs> I feel so emotional. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good to see the sunrise? Yeah. Oh. What's the time? Time check. Time check. 21 minutes to go. Who's counting? <laughs> Me. I'm counting. How far have you gone? The last time I checked, it was like 135 kilometers, but I can't keep looking. Like I've just stopped looking now. <laughs> I just stopped. I stopped doing everything apart from just going. My dad just texted me saying, "Ali, Ali, Ali," which means go, go, go. <laughs> Good to see you here. Six fifty one. You're finishing strong. Yeah, this is this is strong. This is strong tears. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Are these happy tears? Yes. Promise? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pee myself a bit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot you can do in 24 hours. <laughs> There's a lot you can do in 24 hours. Oh wow. So that's what it feels like. Now we all know. <laughs> that's what I get for being curious, you know? <laughs> you should have just said, wow, that must be hard. I think I've taken it all in. I think I can go back now. Now that was amazing. That was the most challenging thing I've ever done, physically, but more mentally. Nothing comes close to this psychological challenge. Like, I hit moments where I felt like euphoric, almost. Like, I was on top of the world, nothing could stop me, I could keep running forever, I felt amazing. And then I hit lows where I just, I just, I just doubted everything. I was crying, I was breaking down, I just, Question the point of everything. What is the point of anything? I still feel really emotional. I've had time to sleep and eat and shower and feel a little bit more human again. And I've been trying to search for a way to describe the whole experience. I feel like I've lived a year's worth of life experience in 24 hours. And there was a me before the 24 hours and a me after the 24 hours. And they're just they're not the same person. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. I ran for 24 hours, from sunrise to sunrise, 12 hours in the day, 12 hours at night, and in total, I ran 143 kilometers, or 143.22, okay? I'm gonna hold on to that 0.22, because I felt it. And that's roughly 90 miles. I actually plotted this route this morning, because I just wanted to relive the experience on a different piece of software. And I'm pretty happy with that for a first try. I really just went in trying to get a sense for what this experience feels like. So I wasn't really too worried about the actual distance that I covered. My knees were definitely the limiting factor. I mean, there were so many uphills and downhills towards the end that they just, they caught up with me. I'm not saying that my muscles didn't ache. They definitely did. They were definitely whispering to me like, um, sorry, how long have we got left? I swear we've been going for a long time. And I can't believe I'm saying this so soon, but I'd love to try it again to be honest. There's something about hitting that 100 mile mark, it's calling me, you know? And then just a couple miles after that, we've hit four marathons. And that's calling me as well. I think next time I do it though, I'll probably do it at an event with other runners and also on a flatter course, just so I can see how far I can go without my knees speaking to me, you know? I remember when I was bed bound for weeks and I couldn't move and it changed my perspective on everything. Like, I'm so freaking grateful that I get a chance to explore life and what my body can do. I don't want to take that for granted for a second. And I want to look back and know that I made the most out of the opportunities that I had. So I hope you guys had fun. I hope you loved the video. I hope it can be a reminder to stop putting off the things that you've always wanted to try. Because none of us know how long we have until that's not an option anymore. And you'll never be sad that you believed in yourself and just went for it. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. And hit the subscribe button with the little notification bell to join our incredible family. And I will see you guys next time. I love you so much and I always believe in you.